All right, today in this video, we're gonna walk through how to create a multi-view drawing from your 3D model that's in Fusion. Um, so first, make sure that you have your file open uh, for the object that you would like to make a multi-view drawing of. Um, after you go ahead and do that, what you need to do is then go down, click on this design tab up at the top, and go ahead and go down to drawing. And you wanna create a drawing from the current design that you have open, so click on current design this little window is going to pop up. In this window, uh, make sure the orientation is landscape view. Everything else for right now is going to go ahead and we're going to leave um, and then just click OK. It will take a second or two to kind of load and set up the, the drawing view. Um, it should, if you notice, um, kind of populate what we call down here the title block and that's kind of information. It has the title of the drawing, the project that it's in, um, and the next step is if you notice, your mouse following it around um, is the front view of the object that you created. Um, and all you need to do first is make sure you scale it correctly so that it's a little bit larger or it takes up not too much space, but enough that um, it's not too small in the drawing. So I'm actually going to um, scale it one to one uh, and then you move your mouse. I haven't clicked yet with my mouse because the moment you click or left click, uh, the view is going to stay wherever you left click on the screen. So this size looks like it's about good because if I drag it over here to do the right side, there'll be space for the isometric at the top and also the top view. So again, we're on the front view and if you notice here on that window, it does say front um, and the style for the front top is we're going to go ahead and select visible and hidden edges. Um, and I'm gonna go down here in the left corner where the front view is located, click on once, uh, and then we're gonna click OK. Once we have this front view, if you notice, you see the hidden line that's there um, and the object lines are drawn. We need to create the right side and the top, so you're going to click on this projected view tool, and you click on it, and you're gonna click on the front view because we wanna project the top and project the side view from this front view. So click left click the front view now and drag over to the right and you can see the right side view. Left click to have it stay. Then we're gonna go up and if we notice, then we have the top view now. So I'm gonna click to make that one stay. And now I'm gonna move my mouse to where the isometric view is and you can see that it also uh, changes the view and shows up. So I'm gonna also left click to make that stay. And now we have all of our views. But if you notice, this is still kind of following us around. So I'm gonna right click this time and then click OK because all of our views that we want are now visible. The next step is we actually wanna change the isometric so that it's shaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click this one, click on edit view, and we're gonna change this, this style over to a shaded Click on that, and if you know it's shades, then I'm gonna hit close. Now our next step is, as you guys know, we have to dimension our multi-views, right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead, and if you notice, there's this dimension tool here. Uh, we can uh, select this auto dimension, and if you notice, there's the baseline dimensions that we, that we added. Um, and it automatically added those dimensions in there on all of them, and what's really great um, you might have to modify them a little bit, but it showed dimensions for the height, the width, and now the depth. Now, the only thing I'm going to go back in, right click, because they look good, and click OK. If you don't do that, right click and click OK, the dimensions will not stay. So make sure you do that. Now I'm just going to adjust by kind of dragging up the dimensions so it's nice and neat and nothing's kind of overlapping uh, into the title block and that it's nice and clear and it looks good. If you notice the scale is here um, and everything is now set. So make sure that you go ahead and save. Um, yes, we wanna save it as that and hit save. And now if you notice, you should have two kind of files that are saved in your folder, the actual object and now the drawing view. 